Welcome to part 5 of creating a web browser in Swift. <coughs> Alright, so um, the web browser <coughs> does have a couple of issues. Like the time shows in the middle of the text, <coughs> now, which kind of is an issue. If you rotate it, it doesn't show at all. And the second thing, the link does not update. So if I click view the YouTube channel, it's still going to show the link I was previously on. And that's an issue. So we're going to be fixing those uh, two things today. So open up your Xcode project. Let's head over to the main.storyboard. Just uh, to create any more not to create any more confusion I'm going to delete all the constraints and just add them again because uh, everything will mess up like the activity indicator that is hidden from the view okay so I'm gonna click on this uh, uh, bar I clicked anywhere I'm gonna click constraints why does it delete all of them? So now they are not constraints. No constraints. I'm gonna search for a bar, a toolbar. Awesome. So we're on the battery symbol. Should be good enough. So now I'm going to move this down. The activity indicator also goes down. This would move. Select the activity indicator and okay. Uh, let's move it a little more down. Just a little bit more. Just to be sure, of course we can always uh, change it back. I need the toolbar. Okay. Is that there? No. Yeah, it's not there. Okay. You know what? I'm going to delete the button on the toolbar. So now if we build it right. See what happens. Okay, we did forget to add constraints, but it does look good. So now, again, command select everything, even this. So I'm just gonna select it from here. Add missing constraints. Let's run it one more time. And we can see it looks good. So uh, it doesn't create a bar here, so that is very nice. Now the time is separate than the than the area when the person enters the URL. Okay, so almost done. We just need to update the link. So let's head over to our view controller dot Swift and. Enter this code in our view, web view did finish mode. So, bar whatever you want to call it. Self dot web view dot request. Request u URL dot uh, uh, question mark dot absolute string dot string by replace uh, string 
Bye. Three. Replacing. Occurrences of string. This one. So occurrences of string, target string, with string, string. So we want to replace the text HTTPS first of all. Because uh, if the web view is going to load HTTPS in front, it's going to. The URL will be HTTPS, HTTPS, and it's not going to do anything. So I'm going to replace that. And second of all, I'm going to create another bar. String A is equal to <coughs> string. Well, the string we created. String. Question mark dot. So, my string bear picking references of target HTTP. Then we um, self dot URL so enter dot text is equal to string and self self dot url enter dot text is equal to string string a let's build and run Okay, let's load Google. Uh -huh. Oh, I just left HTTPS, so easy fix. Run again. Let's load Google. Okay, let's search for YouTube. And the text is updated to that long line of code, or just text. Okay, so now let's click on YouTube. The website loads to YouTube. So it's searched for me. And, oh, awesome. So that is just how to update the URL, and thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one, please subscribe.